All right, this is Kale Bess Hernandez reporting from the 2019 Chicago Expo. And uh, I'm with Marco Specialties. And I'm hanging out with a, another guy from Marco Specialties, uh, one of our volunteers, Rhett Henderson, who has been hanging out with us for several years now. I guess we, we hooked up in Banning, California. And uh, so tell us a little bit about the setup here and, and what we have going on in the Stern Marco room. All right. Uh, I'm from Oakland, California. This is my first time in Chicago. I had uh, to come here. I wasn't going to miss an opportunity to meet uh, Cassandra Peterson and play the, uh, the brand new Elvira House of Horrors game, which is amazing. Um, we have a great setup here for the tournaments. We have a DJ booth and an incredible sound system for a party that's happening later tonight, a Jurassic Beats party. You know, doing another Stern theme with the uh, Jurassic uh, Park. A freak easy production. Yeah. And uh, we have a great setup for purchasing parts, you know, just like you do at every event that I've been a part of. Uh, and I love, uh, you know, just helping you guys out, setting up, breaking down. And we party hard and have a great time uh, every year. Thank you, Rhett. And uh, we love having you here. Uh, so you mentioned you met uh, Cassandra Peterson. Um, and I heard she really liked your attire. I was able to meet uh, her twice. She was doing uh, signing and meet and greets for the past two days. Yesterday I had a special outfit. I had a jacket that um, was themed with uh, Universal Movie Monsters. Oh, well, I'm not wearing it tonight. This was yesterday, but she took a liking to it. So I brought another jacket out and another uh, special shirt just to see if I can impress her uh, again. Yeah. Good deal. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for helping us out. And uh, you guys stay tuned for some great pinball action. I'm coming right up. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Hi there. Uh, my name is Jasmine. We've got Abby here. Yes, I am Raymond. Abby. Raymond. Hello. And what are we watching, Raymond? We're going to uh, play Elvira. Elvira and Escher and Colin are playing. Okay. Yeah, this is the new Elvira House of Horrors game. It's just brand new and like being kind of premiered here at the expo. Uh, yeah, we got Escher. Did he pick this game? I think so, yeah. I think earlier today I saw him put up over 200 million on this game. And I don't know who he was playing, but the other player also had over 200, and those were like some of the higher scores that have been put up on this game today. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so maybe he can do it again. <laughs> oh, we got a, a fan of Ray Ray in the chat. A little, little heart scream emoji. <laughs> so generally with this game, from what we can tell so far, is that the mode start is up that center shots into the house that purple arrow flashing right when you start. Yeah. Um, so there are a whole bunch of house modes, and I'm honestly not sure how many there are yet, but he just shot in there. So when you start the game, it's lit right away. So just shot in there and started a mode. And that is the manster mode. Ooh. It's all those green shots, yes. Um, and the shot right to the left of that is, well, that, that's a ramp shot. So he's just going for the shots right now. I wonder. Um I know I saw Kaylee uh, basically timing out every mode just to get to the fourth mode, which is a uh, yeah, that's the multiple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, right to the left of the, the shot into the house is the lock shot, and so it's a little drop target that you have to hit and drop, and then you can lock your three balls to start your first multi ball without having to drop it again. That's only for the first one, though, right? Because yeah. I think for the second one, you have to drop that target before yes. every lock, and for the third one, you even have to do it twice. We're talking about this, uh, this lock shot. It's like, oh, oh, I'm trying to telestrate it, but it doesn't seem to be taking. I was not 100% sure what the there telestrator it is. was. Got so it. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, so that's yeah, where yeah. you can lock your bar, your balls. Okay. So we got Colin Urban up. Uh, Escher didn't do a whole lot that ball, but he did start a mode, so at least uh, next ball he'll be working towards his second mode. Yeah, and he locked a ball, so he's in so a decent what, setup. What, I, what I've been doing on this game is short plunging because I had a lot of the balls come to the right flipper, and I could just 
catch it and get my first shot at, at the multi ball. Yeah. yeah. You can get you can like get that first uh, drop target down. I th and I think the play field is not validated yet. That's correct. I was so the ball that safe out. keeps going. I haven't seen them doing Ooh. that, but that's definitely what I've been doing. Me too. I've been testing it out. You can you can you have a few switches before you validate, so you yeah, can try to get a shot at the lock shot. Yeah, kind of, of like house. in Sopranos and like yeah. I guess Scared Stiff and <laughs> some yeah. of those other yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, Scared Stiff. Which is a pro makes it really appropriate. Right? Yeah, it, it does. Have you played this game in uh, in qualifying, Raymond? No, I did not. I played a bunch in the uh, the free play room. They have okay. about twenty of them here. Yeah, that's nice, right? Yeah, you can get some good practice on. All right, what so came out this week? in right now? Is it the brain that wouldn't die? Yes, yes, that's the brain the one that wouldn't die. So I heard all of these things are movies. Maybe I should watch some for Halloween. <laughs> I love B-movies, and I haven't seen these, so I really need to watch them. Oh, man, it. I think that's his second warning. Uh, so one more, and he will tilt. Yeah, I think the, the, the tilt was a lot looser in qualifying, and they've tightened oh. it up a bit. Oh, ouch. So do, both players not getting a whole lot done here. But almost tied, basically. Yeah, wow. Um, so Escher must uh, be feeling okay about that. They both got some things set up. I, I suspect once a multi-ball happens, it'll just uh, they'll, it'll be a chain reaction, uh, one thing into the next, into the next. You get yep. a lot of points. Uh, basically, one of the strategies. So if you're you're either going for the house modes and just set on trying to get to the fourth one, or you can start with the this multi-ball, which is only like you said, easy at first. It's yeah. a couple shots, mm -hmm. and then during that you can hit these to light this multi-ball. Yeah, the junk the in the trunk. Junk in the trunk one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then also, I don't know, you can do this at some point too, and that's a. Uh, yeah, the the heads, and I don't fully know what those do yet. Um, well, but they I give just know different it, bonuses it, each, um, right? You can lock the ball in the coffin through that shot, and yeah, once what, you get. What I, oh, can you? Okay. Yeah, it like shoots across the play field into here. Oh, is that what it's supposed to do? Because yeah. I've had a lot of those get into the slingshot and get into... Or like... And just drain. Hit, <laughs> or do or that. A famous or hit one. the targets yeah, and then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. one. That's okay. a, a favorite. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of uh, of that shot yet. Of that no. pick out. I mean, the game is really fun. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with it. All, All right. right. So what mode is he in now? Mana's Hands of Fate? I believe so. I wonder if there's like a and big a multi -ball. difference. So I wonder if there's the like going. I wonder if there's like a big difference with the modes. If like one mode is more, worth more points because they're very I random. I also don't know what determines which one you get. Yeah. Well, some of them are. Yeah, I can't tell which determines what you get. But one of them I had was just the left orbit shot. Yeah, but and then if you shoot it, all it, the other shots you get more. Yeah. I think okay. that's like the werewolf in Washington. Mode. Yeah, yeah, it's maybe. the both orbits, I think. Maybe yeah. I just did, had a really bad game and I couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't hit the one orbit. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I mean, it's not an easy orbit where you yeah. have to shoot yeah, it. Yeah, the no. ramp is kind of blocking that orbit. The left ramp is huge. The, it's like but it's, the yeah. twice as big as every other shot. I mean, it's a really nice shot, but I like it. But the left orbit is really hard to hit. Wow, he's getting—he must have two X play field going because he's getting two million a shot. Uh, yes, oh, he does probably. have two X play field going. Do where can you know how oh, you that's start? Oh, the blinking light on the left. Yeah, I don't know how you start that. It must be those targets on the right, if I had to guess, or the gargoyle targets. You know, it's some dangerous thing. Cause well, of course, of course yeah. It is. Well, why would you make it easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Meanwhile, we're getting a, a what's happening on the on deck. Uh, <laughs> apparently, the two X multiplayer is the targets on the side, followed by the in lane. Yeah. So as as suspected, probably these ones, and then you activate it Iron Maiden With style. The in lane. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Oh, warning there. Getting the uh, live update by Neil McRae in chat for the Kaylee Keith game. Oh. I'm, like a, a, I'm a assuming that Keith won on Black Knight? Yep. And so and Kaylee's Kaylee fighting for his life, and he is still up on Deadpool at the moment. Is it 1-1 one, one for them, or is it 1-0 for Keith? I think Keith is uh, up 1-0. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right, so Colin steps up. Man, uh, there was a great ball in the women's final yesterday. It was like a hundred million ball one oh, is that by Sunshine. Sunshine, yeah, nice. I saw yeah. that one. Yeah, which made the game look really easy. And uh, <laughs> as you can tell, it is not. And I can tell you that that game in the women's finals was not easy. I think my highest score on that game, three balls, was 65 million. Oh, the feeds were awful. Out of the pop bumpers, they like, yeah, were draining down I think the middle. Everyone's, everyone's favorite was this one. Yeah, no, that was, it was, uh. it, it, it like came out funny and you think you're safe. 
so you don't like save no. it the right no, way no, and you no. end up flipping in the wrong order. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I gave up on qualifying. <laughs> the women's games were like I enraging like me. I couldn't deal might, with it. This might be one of those games where you get defeat like that if you like hit it on the left side yeah. and yeah. you may get it to the flipper. It's kind of 50-50. Like, I really like it, but 50-50, some of them seem to feed it into might be, that top yeah. sling yeah. and then bounce over. So the bump off or a shimmy or something might or help. Or just uh, shooting the flip, shooting the castle house with one flipper might be better than the other. Yeah. Okay, so started another house mode. Actually, started a multi ball. Is this the house party multi ball? Look no, like this it. is I junk in the trunk. Oh, junk oh, in the trunk. Okay. okay. Does he have a mode going with it too? So we were trying to figure out if you could start the the the, the garage multi ball while you had junk in the trunk because you can do it the other way around. The garage multi ball. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah that's, start, I was able to no. start wild women and then junk yeah. in the trunk yeah. stacked with that, but yes. I don't know the other no, way around. I, I think we figured out that you can get. Wild women and then junk in Which the trunk, but not the, the other way. Which is actually the smarter way. That's the better way to do it because you, the shots to light the junk in the trunk are these dangerous targets. So yeah, you yeah. so bounce start in with there. The, start with the multi ball. So if Escher wins this tournament, that will be back to back left coughs. <laughs> winning Expo. I know they're annoying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so in these multi balls, what I've noticed, I kind of like it that you're working towards a super jackpot. I think you have to, in the first multi ball, you have to make all the jackpot shots, and once you yeah, do I think that, your, your the middle one is lit for super. Yeah, yeah. And, then the multi -ball. and then the orbits are for super, kind of oh, like oh, the in, orbits. Okay. Kind Madness. of like a Lord of no, kind of like uh, Lord, oh, of, the Lord Rings, of the Rings. Yeah. Where the super jackpot. That's wow. a great set. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, so it looks like right side has a couple of jackpots waiting for him. I wonder if he could light his 2x, like use this multi-ball, because I don't think the jackpots are worth that many points. He just shot the, uh, the medieval castle lock thing, and it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. So I, I wonder if he's going to rethink his strategy on that. Uh, okay, see... Uh, he nice only needs backhand. the right yeah, back there it is. shot feels safer and now, than the multi-ball. Yeah, oh, it's on such the a grind, though. The super one. These points, they're just not there. I, I think I'd focus on getting your playfield X up and, uh, you know, working towards those modes because the fourth mode is, is, you know, the jackpots are like 4 million. It's crazy. Yeah, I just realized the, he was only the, at 11 the, million the, and the, he's been hitting multiball? a lot. The fourth one is a multi-ball, yeah. The fourth well, the, house. Oh, the, the fourth, fourth house. house yeah. It's the yeah. house party multi-ball, which I got a lot of points uh -oh. in yesterday. I don't know what I was doing in one of the games in the free play area, and I ended up with, like, I started with like 12 million, and I ended up with 130 something million. And so it was really fun, and there's a lot in there, but. That's a dream uh, for Colin. Unfortunate. Oh, Kaylee is out, Jasmine. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Terrible. I wanted to comment on him <laughs> while he was playing. Sounds like he lost with like a billion on Deadpool. I know. So I think the highest I ever got Painful. on Deadpool was like 300 million. My highest and is like 540. Losing with yeah. a billion on Deadpool. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> All right, so back to the game that's actually happening. Um, Here. <laughs> this is a weird spot for Escher because he's ahead, but if uh, Colin, you know, gets to that house party, um, you know, he can get 100 million mm -hmm. pretty easy. So he's short yeah. punching here and trying to catch that ball. Not sure. Yeah. Yeah. If he, was, he could have like drained it and tried to short plunge again to get it to the right flipper. But yeah, you can. Wow! Look at that ball save. I thought they turned off ball saves. They turned it off on the Star Wars, not on this one. Huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. That seems like a meaner game to turn yeah. it off on. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> plunge, drain, gone. <laughs> Junk in the trunk, multi ball. Right. So he's just padding his lead here. Um, basically taking any any yeah. multi ball that. And unfortunately, you can't actually start a mode once you're in yeah, junk in the I trunk multi ball. Already, so didn't did you he already have a mode? No, I thought the house was open. It was no. open, so that that's well, kind of a misplay. But maybe no, I think he had. It. The, what are those like lit arrows? Those, uh, those are, I think, I don't know. Because I noticed that the jackpot on junk in the trunk is hitting the targets again, and then the left ramp is yeah. lit for jackpots. So. All I know is those heads are kind of creepy, and I don't hey. like them. I like around. Aunt Surly the best. Um, I like Sergeant Jarhead. Yeah, I also <laughs> like Sergeant Jarhead. His head does look like a jar. Do they ever go away? Can you get rid of them? Or are they, um, are they there to help you? I think you have to finish them and they give you different bonuses, but oh, I don't really okay. know what they are yet. But you start those by going into the crypt, which is that green arrow with, that you can kind of uh, backhand off the right flipper. Yeah, right, that right arrow? there, like, yes. 
I'm not doing that. That, that yes, arrow. that one right there. Ooh, Escher <laughs> takes a warning. So he's in trailer trash, I believe, actually. Ooh, so that was, was a big warning, shot, whatever right? that was. That was like three million. I might have made that up. House is so, open. Is so. this house party? Let's see. It is. Yes, it this is, is house, house party. party. So this is a multi-ball. Look at the dancing house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what the rules are in this multi-ball. Everything um, is a jackpot, and uh, I think the more jackpots you hit, the bigger the jackpots. And now it's started double scoring. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I, I got one yesterday where um, the house in the middle, right after my, my, I had a grace period on it, it was a really big, like, 20 million yep. jackpot. Um, cause I think you're every, every other jackpot builds that value. So kind of like in Total Annihilation, where like all the shots build towards the bigger jackpot Probably, on, the, yeah. on the lock Ooh, shot. And it's ball like save, ball yeah. save. Can Ooh. he get the ball save? He got the ball yeah, save with nice. his chin, I think. Oh, and a spin there. Oh, is there a ball save on the, bump, uh, the button there? Yeah, if you out lane, it spins a wheel. And if you stop the wheel on ball save, you get your ball back like a uh, hobbit. I realize what the wheel Very did. Very nice. All right. I saw somebody else do that after I played it so many times and I felt really stupid for not figuring out that I you actually had to hit the <laughs> button for that. I now feel kind of dumb for not realizing <laughs> that, but I didn't N Now we know. It. <laughs> Super party jackpot. All right, that was a lot of points. So he still has got three balls. See, I thought I learned quite a lot about this movie, about this movie, about this pinball machine. But then seeing these guys play and just realizing some extra things. Yeah, unfortunately, since it's so early in the code, if you want to get high score, you, you just play the house party. That's yeah. all you do. Everything else is just kind of yeah. for kicks. I do like combining the most modes from the house uh, with the multiball. Yeah, Yeah, because that way you're working towards your modes um, and yeah. you're getting some safety points in case you don't get to house party. Yeah, that was a 15 million jackpot on Super House Party. And so look 17, at that, million. 17 million. All I right. think it would be uh, a lot better if the house party um, was worth more or less depending on how well you did in the modes. So if you just race to get there, you don't get really very many points. But yeah, if you that kind of might like, be, yeah. Kind of like Kobayashi, like how well? Yeah. Like, like it's how well you do in the Star Trek modes. Yeah. No. Like that goes back into Kobayashi, right? I, I agree with that, because right now it feels like you can kind of cancel out and drain or, or just, you know, drain right out. away or time them out mm -hmm. and still get the same amount of points. So that yep. might be something that gets adjusted later or not. Who knows? That was so. a nice series of shots there. He like did a four-way combo to start multi-ball. So he's at a zombie multi-ball. <laughs> so what which is, so at a zombie is the the regular multi-ball, the wild woman yeah. multi-ball. This is the second time through after you've hit the drop target and locked a ball and hit the drop yep. target and, and this locked one a is, ball. And uh, worth more. Yeah. It looks like 550 jackpot. And I feel like in this mode you can get kind of in this multi-ball you can get kind of like a second wave of balls. Like it starts with three oh, balls. Oh, add a zombie. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but add I, a I, I don't know how it adds though. I, I know I all of a sudden had like six balls in play, and I don't really know how I got there. You might have started junk in the trunk with it. Maybe um, I did. Have, that yeah. could have been it. Because yeah. I, I did that I just one. Don't know what I was, I was so doing. confused why there was so much <laughs> going on, and then yeah. that's what you get when you play those games for the first time. There's just so much going on. No, there's a lot so of input. And I you're wonder, not really sure what yeah. the shots are yet, so you're trying to figure it out. I wonder if you can get another house party. I think you. I'm pretty sure you can. Like you're going like through the house again. Yeah. But uh, will it be the fourth one again, or maybe? Yeah, I don't know. So he's Look. opened the house again and starting a new mode, which is the brain that wouldn't die. So for this one, you shoot the house and then it lights a whole bunch of shots. It looks like he also locked a trunk for or a ball for. Oh, it actually the shot into ball. the yeah the thing. without because you can do you can lock a ball on the junk in the trunk either through the left ramp when it's lit or by shooting up into the like kind of falling into it on the play field right over. I like there. the who done it shot. I don't know how to clear that. Yeah, it'll go yeah. away when okay, Carl good. sees it. <laughs> This is a great ball for Escher, by the way, because oh. going into this ball, I mean, sure, he had more than Colin had, but it was still, like, not, not a great score. He yeah. had 25 yeah. million going into this ball. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of, like, Escher can do whatever he wants here, and then basically 
Colin just has to do that plus one extra point. Yes. You know, ten extra points. So. Yeah. So do you know how many shots you actually need to complete these modes? I don't like know if they ones? ever complete. Um, like or it or seems, maybe they just time out? Yeah, it just seems like really early code right now, so it's yeah. not really... So you might just shoot them until it's over? Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's like doing payback time here, just like left ramp, right ramp, mega points, city. And yeah, I mean, it's three million a shot. Now Why his not? center is lit. Extra ball is lit. Watch out for that feed. That's trouble. And That's trailer trouble. trash. What is the trailer trash mode? It's up the middle at a certain point. It looks like he's in that Oh, my now. God. 23 wow. million. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Wow. And now the house is back to just being a house. All right. And another hit to light a lock for his third multi-ball up that left, you know, right to the left of the house shot. Uh, this is, I think this movie is Teenagers from Outer Space. Yeah. <laughs> Another movie I definitely need to watch. I know. It's, just, it's just so amazingly bad. I love it. <laughs> All right. So this ball is only lock. his. Yeah. So if he wants to start that multi ball, he has to, has to shoot the target down twice, lock his second ball, then shoot it down twice again to start his multi ball, which can be a quite difficult shot to do. The uh, crypt is flashing. One more shot to next stage, it says. So I guess the modes have different stages. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow, the spinner is giving him some, some points there. It's kind of great that we can watch it now, because when you're playing yourself, yeah. it's very hard to focus on what's happening on the screen. Was there a giant lobster? <laughs> looks like a, like a dragonfly or something. Look at that. Bee restorator level hey, three. Hey, that was close. Right. It's like a giant dragonfly. <laughs> All right, that was the end. So that is a completed mode there, Okay, so it looks like the modes do yeah. actually give you some good points for completing them. Uh, oh, no. Ooh, Ooh. He's, he's still alive. <laughs> did he already have a danger? I think he did, right? Yeah, I think he's I think on so, double. Yeah. On double, even. Oh, he's just... There we go. That house, there's just no way to react to it after you hit it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Unhappy hour. All right. So unhappy hour, I think, is from uh -oh. hitting the ramps, yeah, right? Oh, wow. Well. That was one of those shouldn't have yeah. dead pass moments, but it's hard to tell. That nice was a good job, ball. Though. That was a really good ball. Get some applause from the crowd. 266. Oh, no, 292. Yeah. I wonder if that's the new grand champion on this game. Uh, no, he put up 700 I on his first try. So maybe it's not Grand Champion. <laughs> no, I but actually, I bet it's up yeah. There. <laughs> no, I was playing the Elvira next to Keith when Keith was, like, he started at 500 million, and I, in qualifying, got, like, 3 million because I'd never played it before. <laughs> and he was still go. he was at well over 700 million when I was done. I'm like, that's just depressing. So. <laughs> but in the end, if you can beat your own scores, wow. like, that's what it's all about. Like, if you... Sure, if kind you can beat Keith scores, that's great. But in the end, you just want to oh, be... Oh, look at that preemptive get nudge. Get better and better yourself. That was a great <laughs> use of his warning there. There was not a guarantee that the ball was going to drain, but he wanted to guarantee that it wasn't going to drain. Mm -hmm. So he, he shook it as the ball was arcing over oh. there. Oh, that's it. Okay, oh, that's well. Yeah. Enter initials. Grand champion, I told you. Grand champion. Fred. <laughs> Oh, so Keith must have got the score on the other Elvira then. Do you have any more than Diana? I mean, I want. All right. Hello. Hey. <laughs> wow, this is like a weird <laughs> reflection on my glasses. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> kind of look like you're at the, the oh, right there. <laughs> the, the hookup from the. Uh, uh, tournament there we go, organizer. right there. Expo. Huh? Two, thumb two, great. two awesome. thumbs up. <laughs> How many times have you been here before? I've never been. This is my second time. I think this is my second time as well. Yeah. Was that last year your first? Becoming a third time. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's a great, great, uh, great show, great tournament, lots of games. There's like three rooms full of games great, and a fourth yeah. room of... Elvira's basically. Um, yeah, there's yeah. a few well, Jurassic Park, Jurassic in there as well. Parks, yeah. and then like Monsters and Deadpool and Black Knight and yeah. stuff. But yeah, it's fun. Um, okay, next game. They are we on. are on Iron Maiden. All right. 
This is a premium version, not the pro, which means that the ball lock when you for mummy lock is on the left ramp. And when you start a mode, the center ramp raises up, up and you shoot the scoop underneath. I actually really ramp. like that. Often I prefer the Pro over the Premium or the LE. But in this case, I actually really like the mode start. And especially the feed from there, you can often let it bounce over. Yeah. I don't know. I felt The first time I played a Premium, I felt like it was really hard to hit that scoop underneath. For some reason, like you'd hit it up there and it wouldn't go in for some reason. This no. one feels easier. Well, maybe the, the ramp didn't go all the way up or something. No, I don't know. I, I'm kind of indifferent. I like both of them about the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I was more talking about other games. Like, on yeah. a lot of the sterns, they... Yeah, you, yeah. you like I, one versus the other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like on Ghostbusters, it's funny. for Some, example. <laughs> someone says the left ramp on the premium feels easier than the pro. That's because you have to hit it on the premium, so no, you just get used to it. Yeah, <laughs> you really do. Yeah, I on the pro, you can kind of ignore it, it because yeah. you don't lock your mummy ball up there. You yeah. lock it up the middle. So it's interesting that Colin decided to pick this game because he knows Escher has you know ran to the hills multiple times. Um, but I think this one plays different enough than maybe Escher is comfortable with. And Colin must have done well in, on it in qualifying. And uh, also, he loves this game. He won in disc last year with a yeah. huge, probably three, four hundred million game of this. I also feel like an, at this stage in the tournament, you just need to game, pick the games that you feel very comfortable on because yeah. your opponent is probably good at any game. So you need yeah. to pick the games that you think that you was, can win. That on. was my mistake. Yeah. I chose Star Wars against Keith because I thought it, it would be bad for him. But I wasn't comfortable on it, and, and, that's, and I then paid he the price. Wins. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I should have just picked the Deadpool or the Guardians, even though Keith got five billion on Guardians and a billion and a half on Deadpool. <laughs> but you know, you could have done the same thing. I know. That's I should have just done it. Uh oh, we have an issue. Oh, we have a minor issue. The ramp is sticking up. Which one? The the center ramp there. <laughs> Somebody yeah, says yeah, the mistake right was having to play Keith. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, that is a problem. No, and, yep. But no one can help you with that, so. Yeah, I've, I've noticed in tournaments that I really, also in, in League in Seattle, that I, sh I should just really pick the games that I feel comfortable on and because that will give me the highest chance of winning. Because then I can put up my best game and play, yeah. play my you best really game. You really are just competing against yourself as much as the other person. Yeah. Your own nerves and your own abilities to do that yeah. specific game. Especially if you're the you're the one picking the game and you get to go first. There is something about you know putting up a decent score on ball one and making the other person match it. Definitely. Yeah. So. Oh. No, I actually like to go first if I can. Because <laughs> I, I, I like yeah. going. I love going second when um, I can. But I'll definitely pick a game. Yeah, you should pick a game that you like over a, a mystery game. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right. The left mate. Yeah. Uh, I was no, just that say, is not an actual gameplay here that we're seeing, right? That no, was that a was test. real. That was real. Oh, was the, it real? The left Iron Maiden is very, very oh, sensitive. Oh, it's super tilt sensitive. The, the right one was having minor issues with the captain ball, but the left one was incredibly, incredibly tilt happy. So Colin has. This is the, r this oh, is the right this one. Is the okay, right one. we are wrong. Well, I see about four sticky notes on the back glass, so Save maybe, tilt was maybe adjusted. Trent uh, adjusted the tilt and ball save. The tilt was adjusted <laughs> on a whole bunch of things because uh, between yesterday and today, things were running kind of long, and I saw yeah. Deborah writing a bunch of notes earlier about how tilt is tighter now. So um, that was a warning to people who thought they knew what they could do, get, get away with on these games. Well, it is, as they say, the same for both players. Yep. Um, doesn't make it any less uh, aggravating, but we'll see if uh, Escher can cope with it. He's used to playing on very tight games with, uh, you know, no yeah. outlane post, no ball save. And now he's had a warning on how heart, tight the tilt heart is. Settings. So. Yeah. Did you play this? Are they playing the right one right now? They are playing did, the right did, one. Did you yeah. guys play this one during qualifying? Um, I only played the left one because the right one was down most of the time when I was qualifying. Um, I played the right one in one of my tournament rounds. Um, I, the right one, I, the right flipper was like almost useless, like for hitting the center. You couldn't mm -hmm. hit the center 
you could barely hit the captive ball. It was like you had okay. to flip so early. Yeah. Okay. Unless it was just acting up when I played it. I didn't quite notice that, but you might be right. It might have been just behaving differently when I was playing it. Or it might be more like the one that I usually play where it's kind of hard to backhand the ramp ah. on the right flipper. So Yeah, it, was, yeah. it took me like three tries to hit the uh, trooper lock shot, which is normally like a nice, comfortable shot. And mm. I kept hitting the, the extra ball target thing. But you gotta adjust as you find those out. So Raymond, what's your strategy on Iron Maiden? What would um, you go for? Iron Maiden is it kind of like I follow wherever it takes me. Honestly, it's sort of like yeah, you know, if I'm feeling loops, I'll do some loops. The then ramp and the ramp is stuck up again, apparently. By the way, so they're having a minor issue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel with this game that while you're shooting loops and ramps, you're getting your modes ready in the middle. Right. You're getting your the, the yellow triangles ready while you're doing those things. Yep. Um, meanwhile, when, when you can get the shot, get those targets down to go to the trooper multi-ball. So I, I, I feel like with whatever you're doing in the game, you're it's, working you're towards mm -hmm. all, the, all the main big yeah. things. So that's why it's sort of a, like I said, I just follow whatever is closest. It's like, oh, a mode is lit. All right, let's play the mode. Um, but then, of course, strategically using your 2x scoring and paying attention to the modes running in the background, because sometimes those can get lost when you're in multi-ball. Um, making sure you get your loop jackpot to get uh, your yeah. tomb award treasures. Yes. Uh, just, you know, staying on top of things, being, a, being aware. It's a very self-aware game. you got to kind of keep track of all the different things going on. I, I do notice that I sometimes get lost, like when I'm, I'm, I'm looping and I'm, I'm forgetting, like, some of the other things that are going yeah. on or... I sometimes forget that that, that mummy multi ball is there, like, and, and my, my 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 lock has been lit forever on the ramp. Yeah. And if I just shoot it, then every time I will hit that captive yep. ball afterwards, yep. because I'm missing other shots, then I'm bored towards my multi ball. Yeah, yeah I yeah. usually play on a pro, so it's actually really easy to get mummy multi ball, and I've been hitting it a lot more lately, and it, I yeah. get a lot of points out of mummy, especially if you can stack it with yeah. um, some good modes. Flight of Icarus kind of is friendly because you want the ramps for both of those assuming you yeah. can hit the ramps then mummy mummy multi-ball <laughs> yeah it's a great great way to get both of those at the same time yeah um, it's also a good it's one of those modes like i said where you have to pay attention because you'll light your jackpot on the captive ball and not notice it um, so during mummy you're focusing on both the ramps for add ball but also there's normal jackpots too mm -hmm. and every time you get a jackpot it resets the switch count so you want to make sure you're hitting those so that you're getting credit for all your switches that are happening. Right, so it's a great thing to just hit something into the pops and then hit the, mm. the captive ball there to get your collect. I'm also noticing that when I get closer to cyborg multiple that I sometimes don't notice that. Oh, I know, uh, oh, yeah. Or I like forget, like, wait, yeah. I actually need to collect those those power jackpots on the side because otherwise it will you not lose start them. it. You I lose know. them too if you drain. Yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. They reset. Oh. You don't lose the tomb collect on the right orbit, but you can lose the, the power jackpots. Mm. And you want to get a power jackpot with a whole bunch of multipliers if you can. Really Take, taking a look at the mega bracket here, you can see it's been quite the battle. We're down to the final six, I want to say. Four, maybe. Colin, Escher. Is this the final four? Four? Jared, no, no, Keith. they're still going on the other bracket. Okay. Yeah, Keith, Alex, or Alec, um, Jared. So final. Final five. Final five. I All guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. right, because Jared and Brian already finished. Yeah. So. How much longer? There's a lot of like new names in there, as in people that has not won this tournament. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of a lot of names. young people in yep. there. Top four was all people under 18, oh, uh, wow. which was pretty crazy. Yeah, like the new, new generation is coming. Yep. Younger people with faster <laughs> reflexes. I know. I, <laughs> I started playing pinball when I was 15, and I went to my first tournaments, uh, like traveling for tournaments when I was 16. I played at Papa in C division, and I think I ended up somewhere in the bottom. So I would like to say I've improved yeah, <laughs> nice. since then. But like seeing all those young guys play right now and seeing how good they are <laughs> kind of makes me jealous sometimes. It's like, oh, I wish I was that good when I was that young. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Raymond, you were one of the guys that started that young and started winning tournaments kind of at that age, right? Uh, 
Yeah, Maybe I mean, a little it, bit it, older, took, it took me a while, a um, couple of years, you know, to get into it. But I had always loved pinball um, ever since I was like, you know, 15 or 16. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's done well for me, so. Yeah. I know somebody's saying I need to look at the camera. I but know, I know, Neil. We should look up. Yes, thank you. But uh, I, I, can't, I, I can't really see the screen. I know, when we're, I'm we're looking in the yeah, camera. Well, you just got to stare at, at yourself in the, the camera right there. <laughs> Very awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so where do y'all usually play? So um, I live in Seattle now, okay. since a year. And there's a lot of pinball bars there. I feel like I moved to pinball heaven when I moved there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, especially nice. compared to the Netherlands where I'm from. There's a lot of good pinball in the Netherlands, but it's more people's houses and not so much um, yeah, not so much on location. So yeah. in Seattle, there are so many pinball locations with often the newest games. Um, I don't know. I think there's like like 10 bars within 15-minute drive from my house. Yeah, you're, you're nice. right in the heart of it, too, uh, right? Oh, yeah, in down, okay, yeah. Downtown or south of downtown. Yeah. So in, in I often, I live, I see Flip Flip Ding Ding. I live very close to, close to Flip Flip Ding Ding. That's a great that's pinball the name, bar. That's the name of the bar? That's the name of yeah. the bar. <laughs> that's great. Um, so I, I go there sometimes. I really like um, Coindexters. I don't go there as often as I should. It's fun. I should come yeah. and play at your tournament more. Yeah, every month. organized there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did well. I saw you last last month. Yeah. Uh, um, but I, I still I really like to travel for pinball. Going to Indisc this year probably. Um, yeah. Over here now. The open. Going to Pinburg. Mm -hmm. um, I hope to play at the Women's World Championship Finals. That would be nice in Denver next year. I would like to do that one of these years. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> let's meet up there. Sounds <laughs> yeah. like fun. <laughs> so it seems like they've fixed the issue, hopefully. Good. Yeah, but for how long? Yes. <laughs> I bet Colin would not be too hurt if they said that this game is uh, null and void. And then he'd have to pick a different game. He could pick. Uh, he could pick <laughs> left Iron Maiden. Well, then that would be interesting. Would they add his score? Would they consider it a major malfunction and then, you know, yeah. additional balls, or would it be a catastrophic malfunction? That's never come up actually. If if it's the same that, title is available, it's not that often that you have that. Yeah, right? yeah, it's really not. The brains behind the Microsoft Excel Mega Bracket. I think that's Trent. Trent. I mean, Trent's creation. It, I think it's, it's a very it's impressive bracket. bracket yeah. yeah, I think that bracket has been there for years. It's it's pretty. It's an expo tradition, and it's yeah. it's pretty great actually. Everyone qualifies, so come on down to expo. Uh, you might qualify, you know, at the bottom of the bracket, but then you get to fight your way through the ladder, or you Although, can. I think this year there was a change, right? I think if you are uh, a restricted and you don't qualify high enough, you're just out. That is. Correct. Yes. Uh, but if you're not a restricted, then like me, you can. Yeah, <laughs> you will guarantee qualify. However, you might end up qualifying for B division, uh, which is its own separate tournament this year. Yeah, I think that is the same as last year. I th although last year the winner of B got to play in oh. A. Oh, I've as heard well. that was a change from this year. That yes. la in previous years that's how it's worked, and this year they did not do that. So the winner of B just wins B and does not move on to A. Oh, we is there another the issue? Because in, in the chat we see that Derek didn't qualify this year, and he was the only person. That's surprising because he's been having a really good year. Um, I, I guess it was a limited entry format. It um, might have not been enough time. And it's uh, yeah, it's pretty rough if you have yeah. a couple bad ones, and you needed six games. Games, and you only had 12 tries, so yeah, that's an average of two times per it's, game. It's and later in the day, the, the lines got It's long. a lot like yeah. some of the European tournaments. Some of the European tournaments give you a bank of, I don't know, between 12 and 20 titles, and you have to put up six good games, and you get six tries and one joker. Wow. So, yeah, so to me it felt like, I don't know, I'm playing pinball in Europe again, I guess. <laughs> Although in Europe, not everybody qualifies. That's the thing. Like, you make yeah. it into the into the finals, yeah. or you don't. Yeah. I think my favorite format is the Papa Ticket format, uh, just because it's got the pressure of limited entry without the uh, go home, you're done part. Uh, is that the Star card Trek. format? Yeah. Oh, the card they moved format. to Star Trek. So I assume that means Iron Maiden is it is out. Catastrophic malfunction. Some or somebody in the chat is talking about the K15 tournament. That's a tournament in Helsinki. I went there twice. And it's exactly like the way I described it. Um, but what I like about the Helsinki tournament is it's in the middle of the city. Yeah. So when you're done playing your games, you can go into the city and 
do some sightseeing, oh, nice. and it's really oh. fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot of pinball tournaments, unfortunately, are sort of in the suburbs, and so you're just playing pinball tournament the whole time and not enjoying the uh, you know, touristy the, stuff. I love it when yeah, you can you stack a vacation yeah, with the city. You, you can see the beautiful industrial areas of Italy and Switzerland <laughs> with all the, f uh, yeah. all right. the warehouses so they have there. This is crazy. Uh, uh, Jared Garvey said uh, Keith only needed six games to be top qualifier. <laughs> he actually only needed five. I'm pretty sure he was like yeah, top yeah, yeah, only yeah. playing five games. Oh, wow. All right. So we have Colin on here. Which mode is he in? Destroy the drill, right? So he's in destroy the drill mode. Which are those blue shots, the blue arrows and on the field is, yeah. on the left side right now. And he's just backhanding that spinner for money yeah. just over and over again. Look at he's, he's getting, getting really 1. safely backhand that spinner on this game. One point nine million per shot? Wow. How why have I I'm assuming you can build the spinner value. I honestly don't remember. Are it's you are you regretting your choices of not this playing crazy. Star Trek this and not shooting such, the spinner? It's such I good usually value. choose prime directive mode and I I'm, think it's I'm because second it's guessing the, myself right it's now. It's the away team version of this mode. Mm -hmm. um, it is, yeah. Luckily oh, I'm, I'm, right. I'm getting a Star Trek so I'll have time to practice all these because this is the stuff I don't know, is all these secret away you know, right. modes and which yeah. ones to do and which ones not to do. And he just went out the left outline, but it had rescue lit, so it's, yeah. a, it's a ball save. There's a, a fun little bug with this game. Uh, when you set kickback to hard, it actually makes kickback lit at the beginning of every ball, so it oh. makes it easier. <laughs> and I think that's what they did on this game on accident. All right. Because uh, right. I noticed in qualifying it was lit every ball. Um, but yeah, the normal strat that I do is I do the right three modes here. Okay. Um, because you get super ramps when That's you complete them. That's usually what okay. I do, yeah. And uh, what I try to do is start this one first, then this one, and then I save this to stack with multi-ball, uh, which you get you light so with your right. So you can get the ramps within, uh, super no. ramps within multi-ball? Uh, you can complete the modes, and get, completing the three modes gives you super ramps, right? right? Uh, but yeah. the main reason I save this one particularly is because the away team for that mode lights these lanes up here for millions. I don't so, think I realized that the away team was so different for each one. Yeah, I did, I'm slowly learning this thing. as I go. That's so a, that's very someone, helpful. someone told me that this mode with away team equals yes. lanes, and that plus multi ball equals profits. Yeah. Yes, that is <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's, that's the way how people need to teach you those games. Yeah. This plus this is smiley face. Yeah. Yes, yes, that is very helpful. Oh, well, it's still ball saves, doesn't matter. Yeah, I often start with the mode that he started with. I don't remember what Destroy the name is. Destroy the drill is Destroy the drill. Yeah. Um, I don't know what those what those give you when you finish them. When you are those complete the pop all, th you want to complete any three in a row of yeah. these these modes. These are the the six modes available, and if you complete any three in a row, you get the super ramps that Raymond was mentioning. Yes. Um, it's, well, is it it's the a different. Chair? It's a different super mode is depending it? on okay. which line. Yeah, so that was one. So, so it gives you a bonus for the different ones. I believe so. yeah. it's it's ramps, and then one of these is spinners, and one of these is bumpers. Okay. That's, yeah, that's I don't I just don't remember which one was which. Okay. Ramps is the best because when you combo them, you get double, and it's a lot easier to combo ramps than it is to combo the spinner. And I don't even know if the double would apply to the spinner. It definitely yeah. doesn't apply to the bumpers. Yeah. Uh, so ramps is your most valuable. Okay. Hmm. The ramps on this game feel really nice when you hit them. This is one of the games where I was annoyed with the first uh, code update when they added the medals because I felt like I really knew the game. <laughs> and then they changed all kinds of uh, things and. It kind of makes it that these days I don't really want to get to know the game once they've done a right. bunch you of code updates. Right, you want to wait until it's been out for a while. Yeah. So <laughs> while we were just sort of guessing about strategies, uh, Colin has now, oh, a 20 million super jackpot. That looks uh, like a good strategy million. from Klingon, <laughs> Klingon multiball. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks like a good strategy. I like it. Yeah, this multiball is huge. So he's got a strobing arrow, and if he hits it, he'll get a double super. And if he combos it, he can actually get a double, double super. Uh, so this is huge. See, that's all stuff that I I don't think I ever get the super on this game. I don't know why everything else just started lighting up. Probably his mode. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Nero award, because he's a Nero, which is to the right of Destroy the Drill. So, so I he's really going across the bottom of it, that little pyramid of yeah. modes. I, oh, my God, that, oh, was, that was so really pretty. Nice. Holy that moly. Yeah. I got to add that to the arsenal. <laughs> the coming down from the right side post pass. And quickly post pass. Yeah. Like, that's some really quick thinking. and and. Precise post pass work. Come on, I want to see. Ooh, danger. Ooh, Careful. Yeah. 
I want to see this super. I want to see it. So he'd want to shoot a ramp and then time it so that when the ball comes back from the ramp, he can hit a super, and he'll get double mm. that super. Or he just takes a single. So he just hit the left ramp and oh, that was double only a double jackpot. Jack oh, he already got the super. So now yeah, he already got the super. But now the warp ramp is lit for the mega super. So if he hits it right here, oh. it'll be 80 million. Boom, boom, 40, 40 million. Mil okay, 80 million right. if uh, if he had That's double scoring running. And now he is That's in save the enterprise mode. And also last minute green green arrows yeah. right there. Yeah, that was a great last yeah. minute. He had one shot at that, and he nailed mm -hmm. it. Um, so yeah, now he's in Nero, as uh, you mentioned. No, no, uh, no save the enterprise. Oh, save so the that enterprise. was a great ball. Yeah. 132 million. Wow. Okay. That's a better ball one. It's ball one, right? For him. Yeah, be he, better ball one than on Iron Maiden. Yeah. <laughs> I think he is uh, approaching Escher's Elvira score. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> but he's got two more balls to go. Yep. I don't know if Escher has a Star Trek. I don't But know. I do feel with all those players that are playing right now that what one does, the other can do too. Definitely. So sometimes I feel safe when I've had a huge score and then my opponent like does the same thing. And I know. You can never <laughs> really be safe. No, you never. Uh, <laughs> Unless the game is over. Then, then you know basically. what's going to happen. So this is interesting. Escher is actually actively shooting his lock targets with the upper flipper. He yeah. is. Um, and I think that's because the left out lane save is lit, as I mentioned. Yes. What, did he just... Oh, he was trying to shoot under the uh, yeah, right flipper. He was, yeah, he was trying to shoot the away team. The, yeah. the, the camera like paused for a second. It looked like he just uh, let the ball drain. But there, there it is. So now okay. he shot the away team shot under that right flipper so he, back he, into the shooter lane. Yeah, oh. the, yeah you can see that the... Uh, uh, Upper upper things are now lit because of the oh, because but he's, he shut the he's away not team. in a multi ball. He's not. So that's a, maybe a missed opportunity because look at that six eighty five thousand seven forty thousand. But when you're a multi ball, like having your spinner lit can also be very nice, right? It, like isn't that's maybe true. any mode just nice to have in multi ball? Yeah. He might be going more Kobayashi Maru that's strategy. That's true. Yeah. It, it looks like he already got the gold medal. So. Yeah. And can and you can you start away team during a multi ball or do you have to start it ahead of time? You can start away team during a multi ball. Yeah, you you okay. cannot start a mode during a multi ball, right? Right, right. You can start a mode and a multi ball at the same time. It will yes. actually let you do that. Yeah, on the uh, when you shoot the when your last lock is on the left. Yeah. Yes. Or it, yes, yeah, not the center because there's no mode start no. there. So he's trying to shoot the away team now to oh yeah to restart a new mode. That's what he's trying to do. Oh. I'm gonna get rescue so that's a ball save. Get comfortable, folks. I think we're gonna be here for for a while. A little bit. <laughs> Although Keith has been picking Beatles, so that'll be fast at least. Oh huh. Ah, man, that away team shot. I never use that to start a mode. I just, it's so sometimes hard. Sometimes I have it and sometimes I don't. That left shot, though, is I'm really more good consistent. At, I'm really good at hitting the flipper <laughs> <laughs> instead of getting it in the thing. <laughs> yeah. Boom. That, that was really nice. All right, so now this one is Shoot the Vengeance as part of this one. And what mode is This is space jump mode. Um. Which is kind so of left yellow arrows that rotate, and I don't see them yeah. right now. So, so if he shoots, if he shoots the middle, he yeah, will also lock middle. a ball. Yes. Mode shot and lock a ball. I see his ball say blinking. He must have started a multi ball. It might be vengeance. vengeance yeah, I think he got vengeance. Nope, going. he started. Uh, oh, the, cl the cling on multi ball. Cling on. Okay. So uh, the gist of this is each shot gives you a jackpot. Uh, you can hit each shot up to twice. Uh, so, once you get five total jackpots from any amount of combination of shots, it lights a super jackpot. And then once you get that, you have to finish whatever you didn't complete. So whatever jackpots you still have left, you need to get all of them. And then that lights um, the second super jackpot. So there's the first super jackpot. So now he has to work on the rest of these red arrows. Oh, that oh my is goodness. an unfortunate Everybody, oh, wow. Everybody wow. out, except he managed to save one. Yeah, Ouch. he did. That's trouble. Oh, yeah. that was lucky. Slash skillful. Oh, Slash that didn't matter. Unlucky. Ouch. Sometimes you save one just to brick a shot or have it just go right back where you're trying to save it from. Does any of you speak Klingon? Mm, can't Sorry. say I've been watching Sorry. way too much Star Trek, but I cannot remember any of the Klingon things. Apparently there's a whole, like, 
like language, like dictionary, there's, there's grammar yeah. books. Yeah, there's language you can study, app where you can major can, it. Yeah, in it you there's know? an app I use for Spanish, Duolingo, and you can actually wow. you can learn Klingon, Klingon on there. I nice. think, yeah. All right. And they may also work on Valerian. <laughs> we got an update. Awesome. Alec Kazmarchuk has won against Keith Elwin. All right. Game one. Game one. Game one. Okay. <laughs> Just and it's best two of three, correct? Yes. yes. So. I wonder if that was on Black Knight. Well, they're playing Black Knight now, so it was not on Black Knight. Um, oh, it was on Black Knight. So how did he win if Keith is still playing? We, that's did, the question. Did Carl <laughs> call it too soon? <laughs> Fred called it too soon? Fred called it too soon? All right. We're getting fed <laughs> wrong so information still here. <laughs> ignore the thing that, yeah, ignore the comment. Let's just watch Star Trek. Yes. And then, <laughs> that, and then we'll figure out what happens. All right. So we are in Save the Pre Enterprise mode. This is Colin again, correct? Uh, game two is Black Knight. So. Okay. Okay. Kay. So we are back in Save the Enterprise mode. And those are the green arrows right there. And that might be the only one I currently see. So yeah, because he has his away team. So. Yeah. So the, with the away team, it's just the left spinner? I guess so. All right. <laughs> Someone should let Kame know he lost oh, so he can stop playing. That was a nice <laughs> attempt to save it, but it zoomed out the right out lane there. But he got three in a row, so he completed the bottom three modes. Yeah, so, super okay. spinner, there so you the go. bottom is super spinners, yes. this one here, and yes. this one is ram, so this one must be the pop bumpers then. Yep. Yes. And you can actually get greedy, and you can do one, two, three, four, and then make your fifth mode this, and you'll get both of these. But or, why, why or would you do that? You have to have a lot of confidence. Well, the reason is you only get one. So. You only get one per Kobayashi. So if you start super ramps, you don't get super spinner or super bumpers. Oh. So the only way to get two at a time is to line them up. So do they do they stay lit for only one ball, the super they, spinners? I think they stay for the whole game, Okay. as far as I know. Uh, Redcap23, why your screen is all black. The only thing I can think of is, for some reason, Twitch is not uh, resizing the video for everyone. So you have to watch it in 1080p. So you need a really good internet connection. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of just been like that. I don't know why. I had that. Yeah, I, w I wanted to watch um, yeah. Belgian. I on our e uh, no, I wanted to watch the EPC, and it was not working for me. Yeah, That's I what was happening. Yeah. I had to use my mobile data. Um, and then turn on VPNs and <laughs> to get the 1080p. <laughs> to anyway. pretend like you were in Denmark? Just to, to <laughs> make sure my Comcast will, won't right. throttle me. <laughs> so Escher is also in Save the Enterprise, and he's going for those green arrows. Well, they're, they're gone away. So he's in Nero now. He completed Save the Enterprise. So he has the super ramps from completing those three now, three in a row. Oh, good. And he's now on Nero, which is the purple arrows here, here, and here. Okay. Um, I wonder how, how far... He only played Vengeance, right? He did not play... Oh, no, he played Klingon. He did not play I don't play know Vengeance. why... He okay, there we go. He's using his button so to... Yeah, you can... Yeah. So yeah. Do you want to talk about the... Oh, yeah, you can... You, you get a... There's an extra action button, basically, on the on the field, or on the, the pinball, that you can build up... What is it? The red stand-ups on the end of the, every shot, basically? To give you free shots on the Vengeance or whatever you want to Yeah, complete, so these, right? these little guys here, yeah. when you hit these three, it'll give you three of these triangles and then each hit to the button. Oh, no, which I is was totally wrong. No down wrong. here. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> ignore me. So these like ones let your kick back over here. Yeah, is, that it, I is, is this one of the first turns that had the action bo button? I feel, like it, it, I feel like it could be. All right, I so think so. Has he locked a ball and he needs to shoot another one in now to knock it free? And now all or of them have not shot it yet. It's funny, Jurassic Park has an action button. Two balls are locked now. Two balls are in the lock. Uh, oh, this is the classic issue with this game. It's been happening all night. Yeah. And depending on what mood you're in, you can either uh, tell a TD or you can... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you itself. go. Yeah, they're magnetized. Yeah. So the ball up in the, the vengeance lock is magnetized, and you have to shoot it free with another ball, which can sometimes cause issues with the magnet. They should, uh, yeah, what happens is the like balls themselves get magnetized, so then yeah, they... they get stuck to each other. They stick yeah. to themselves, and they stick to the magnet core, so even though there's no electricity going through the magnet core, it's still metal, so the balls still stick to it. Yeah, yeah. and if you fail to, to hit one free, you still get a two-ball multi-ball, but the jackpots are worth less. But if you knock it free with another ball, usually they do come loose. Um, you get a three-ball multi-ball. 
Somebody says, like, how's kept in char charge? That, that just tells you you have super ramps going. Yeah, that's for completing three ah, in a row. See. Thank you, Which Raymond. with whatever bonus you have. <laughs> the Magnets, problem. how do they work? <laughs> so, yeah, you see he's getting super ramps in the background. He got the double vengeance defeat because he nice. comboed it into the uh, ship there. So we'll probably see, yeah, it working that left orbit. Oh, this is in uh, West Coast time over here. I was it's very not, confused not, by that a not, few minutes ago. <laughs> I was checking my watch. Um. <laughs> oh, here we go. Carl <laughs> updating it for us. I just want to know when Classics ends. At I know, 11. I know 11. Jazz was, you were trying to get in there. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm still like below the, uh, below the line. Oh, I have no shot, but I just want to be a little bit less embarrassingly low on the classics. I've only done a few entries. And well, he started victory laps. Oh, no, that's the end of the So multiple. now he's in destroy the drill mode. Um, so you can see very different strategies here. He's trying to complete Kobayashi Maru, basically, which is completing all six of those modes here <laughs> in the middle. Yep. And get to that Kobayashi Maru multi-ball. No, oh, no ball uh, save. Bummer. Was that ball two? That was ball two. Good gravy. Okay. All I right. Know. So in classics, I'm 33rd right now, and 32 qualify. Oh, oh you so need this to go is killing up. you right you now. You sabotage no. one person. No, I've been I've been kind of giving up. I've been trying all day today to improve my scores and get in there. And fireball has been killing me and many other people. Oh God. <laughs> It's like, yeah, and, uh, you can learn the skill shot, but that only gets you about halfway yeah, there. Yeah, and I think I need to, like, improve my score by, I don't know, 13 points, mm -hmm. my score, yeah. to get to be 32. So yeah. I really need to... Yeah, I found on Fireball, you just have to hope you can get those flippers closed, and then you have to tap it over without yeah. tapping it into the out lane, which is And without tapping it into the slingshot that can get it into the, into the out lane. Out lane. Yeah. With those little baby flippers and the zipper They say never hurts. give up. I'll, I'll try some more before 11 tonight, so. Yeah. I've got, I think I've got two more right. hours to yeah, try. Yeah, if, if you need to, you know, leave Oh, the no. I, so Colin I'm glad you're here, though. I'm, I'm having fun yeah. here. I was not having fun over there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just need a little breather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a refresher. Right, I, so played, I played some of my best Flash Gordon this weekend. Nice. A million, so. So as we're talking about classics, uh, Car uh, Colin is showing us a classic, uh, just Colin destruction, really. Just He's got a really flashy light on the left scoop. Like, it's all sorts of colors, so I assume he yeah. really wants to hit that one. Yeah, he's in Nero right now, which is all he needs to complete those bottom three in a row. Oh, is he back in Nero 2, actually? Is that what he's doing? He's got Vengeance multiple. Vengeance yeah. ready or something? Yeah, Vengeance Multiball is ready. He's in Nero, He hasn't two. even played Vengeance. So basically he completed oh the God. bottom three and then has gone back to Nero again to do that mode again. And now he's in Vengeance Multiball, which is, as we were saying, is the one with the magnetized ball that you have to knock loose. Yeah, so it's, like, yeah, expert challenging. Uh, boom. Nope. Boom yeah. too early. It's at, it's right up here. Yeah. So can you oh, only a get... a terrible arrow, but... Can you only get Vengeance Multiball once in one game? I mean, theoretically, you could get it again, but you'd have to go through the two other Vengeance modes. Okay, yeah. and those are not multiballs, right? Correct. No. And, the and it's a dangerous shot. It's dangerous. So. The third one, though, you can add 10% to your score if you complete it. Um, oh, really? That's which is fun. pretty crazy. Yeah. It's like, like Gottlieb thingies. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, in Gottlieb, you can, like, double your score in some Gottlieb games. Yeah, Jazz. Oh, yeah. Great on commentary. I've got fans. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I was just more <laughs> keeping an eye on it so that she doesn't, you know, forget. <laughs> but let's see. Got the blinky lights again on the right ramp now. I would say both of them are. I mean, Colin is like crushing it right now, but yeah. Escher's game is also pretty good. Escher is basically going to need to get to Kobayashi Maru. Yeah, because he played... Did, he, did Colin already play Kobayashi Maru? No, is he, he just has not. He's bypassing? playing a totally different strategy and bypassing it, okay. which I never see. I usually so see when the you Kobayashi play, Maru strategy. When you strategy. play a mode again, like he's playing Nero 2 again, is it worth... Well, I, the, I bet it's worth more, more points. I, it's but worth more. Um, the only thing I know that the reason you would do that is if you beat all three, depending on which one you beat... Um, you'll get 2x scoring for that shot. Um, 
color coded, so. Oh yeah, I, because I every mode has a shot in Kobayashi, right? Right, and so whatever those line up to, uh, you'll get double scoring on that shot. And I don't know if it's double scoring for the ball or for the game. Um, okay. See, that's like those deep rules that you don't really get when you're just playing a game of Star Trek. Yeah. This is crazy. People are going this deep All right. on this now, game. Yeah, now he's going back to, or, or not back to, but to Prime Directive, which yes. is the very top mode there, which is basically every shot is lit blue. And again, he did the away team, which lights the lanes up here at the top. So it looks like maybe he's ready to start working towards Kobayashi. The other yeah. reason to play modes over again is if you're trying to get that perfect gold bonus. Uh, so whenever you play a mode, how well you do in that mode, you'll get a silver, gold, or bronze medal. And when you start Kobayashi, if you have a set of six golds, it's worth like 50 million or something outrageous. Um, so if you have a bad mode, but you still want to go for the six golds, you can just mm. play a mode again the same, like, same mode, and then when you get to Kobayashi, you'll have those six golds. Okay. So when you finished your sixth mode, will, and, and, and that one does not, is not a gold medal, will you be able to play that again, or are you... No, that, that is true. So that's the only one that you cannot replay, probably, because right. Kobayashi will be lit. Exactly. So unless you're confident in that last mode, the only way to guarantee it would be to have six medals before playing your last mode. Yeah. So make sure that you got five golden medals going into the last one, All and right. then really and yeah. doing the last one. Colin is just drained there for his ball three with a very impressive 220 million. So Escher has to, is one mode away from Kobayashi. Kobayashi, yeah. Now yeah. Kobayashi is not a guaranteed 100 million, though. No, no. It, it can be. Um, it's probably worth about. I don't know, 80, 90 million if you get through all of it, I'd yeah. say. And, uh, and probably with him having played his... He played Vengeance, right? Yeah. yeah and having played, played his normal multiball, this is probably like the better thing to do to yeah. get Kobayashi right now. Yeah, yeah, he has to play Kobayashi and he has to complete it. And then once he completes it, um, we'll have to see how far away he is. He, it'll be close, because uh, like I said, a perfect Kobayashi depends on his medals. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we started on Klingon Battle here, which are the red shots for now, here and there. That's trouble. That's Ooh. trouble. Oh, stayed in. But he's still alive. Ooh. Ball two locked. Ball wow, two so locked. He, okay. he could actually... Oh, my Ooh. God, that's Ooh. gone. He's that gone. He's terrifying. dead. He's dead. Okay. Oh, my God. He's I would have like, let it rest. Yeah. Too. What is he doing? I know, I would have, too. Hold the okay. How did maybe, that not... Maybe the stress is getting to him? <laughs> he needs to stop and, and calm down, because this, this is crucial. Just time it out. Would you, would you time this mode out? I, like being so close to Kobayashi? I would, yeah. I, I, I don't want to drain and and be told like, oh, if you just didn't do anything, you would have gotten a multi-ball. Mm -hmm. like, oh, especially with that. Yeah. Oh, geez. I think he's, he's trying going for multi-ball. He's going for the other mode. Oh, he's going oh, for yeah. Oh, man. There you go. He saw that coming and yeah, there's just nothing you could do. Yeah, there. That's rough. Yeah, I do think I would have probably timed out the last mode and then the, see the, if I the could. The green multi-ball will be there afterward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not like those yeah. locks go away. Yeah, yeah I don't know rough. about that. That was a little... Hey, but at least we get to see a third game of these guys. It's 1-1. Oh, one, one. oh, my. Okay, more right. pinball. So it's Escher's pick <laughs> of game or position. I'm kind of assuming he's going to pick game. I don't know which game. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be... What has he been playing? He's probably going to pick... Yeah. Um, Star Wars, I would say. Is that what they're going for? Maybe yeah. Deadpool? Or a Vi oh, we already picked Elvira, right? Yeah, already so. picked Elvira, and Iron Maiden now. is down right now. I'm guessing, I'm guessing Star Wars, but now that Star Wars doesn't have a ball save, I heard Escher is scared of that, so he might go with Deadpool. Star Wars is mean even with a ball save, yeah, so I that. feel like that's an extra so they're challenge. They're standing in front of Deadpool now, so okay. that might be Deadpool's it. Deadpool's a good pick. It. The home pin? It's gonna be the home to, pin. We, oh, the home pin. Maybe, oh, right. maybe, yeah. maybe. Oh, Escher did get like 10 million on that. Wow. <laughs> that will be interesting. That'll be a lot faster Star than Star Wars uh, home Deadpool. pin on the stream. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will have nothing to say on that one. So I played it. Oh, good. I I'll let you take the, the lead. I played the practice one. I got five million. Nice. Nice. I know cool. something, and I I heard Adam and Katie talk a bit of strategy. So if they're gonna pick it, I may have something to tell you guys. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay. I have very little to say on Star Wars: The Pin because I do not like it very much. But I've only played it a couple times, so <laughs> maybe once actually. Yeah. I only played it once. It was here. Yeah. And I might never play it ever again. I, I mean, you're not gonna find it on location. 
All right, we have I confirmation. I criticize it too much, but uh, it's going to be the home pin. It's going to be the home pin. All Adam right, Lefkoff. home pin. So Star maybe I'll Wars learn a new appreciation pin. for it here. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know how any of I, I know you can either kind of go for the big points with the Death Star, but mm -hmm. it's the it's the go big or go home strat because you have to clear those targets like four times. Yeah. And they're super yeah. deadly. Or you can kind of grind away on Tie Fighters and loops and other sort of stuff. Or just hope it stuff. falls into R two D two lock. Yeah, that's you know just the best way. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know if you can work towards Death Star during R two D two or not. If you can, I, then I don't think you can. I do think you can put R two D two, bring it into uh, Death Star, but you may not want to do it. it. It is nice when you've got your uh, one multi ball going. Yeah. So what we were talking about, these targets here, those are targets in front of a ramp, and if you shoot them, uh, if you complete them a couple of times, it will start Death Star multi-ball. Yeah, it's, it's on harder than normal settings, so it's about twice as many shots okay. as, as yeah. you would find in the wild. And then right here, it's a little bit difficult to see. There's two little posts, and a ball can fall in there if you're lucky, and that's your R2-D2 lock. And then you have to knock the ball out to start your R2-D2 multi-ball. I think two balls can technically lock in there. So he's full right. plunge, got a skill shot. The other thing I've heard players talking about is these lanes give you double scoring for yes. uh, 30 seconds, 20 seconds or something. Yeah, I think it goes like 2x, 3x, like there's like a bonus thingy there. So you can you can crack off a, a double super for a million, or two million, um, I, I guess. And completing the force targets here on the left, that, that lights a rebel, right? So you have the rebels or Luke, Leia, etc. Oh, is that how you get them? I think they're. I are they so. also tied to their okay, respective shots? Okay, see, he's shots? got his double X scoring going because he completed those top lanes up there. Okay. I thought. And now he's got. That shoot. No, those are two X and three X bonus, I think. Yeah. Oh, and now he's shooting okay. the Tie Fighter, which is similar to the the Tie Fighter, you know, the shoot the Tie in, 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 yeah, in the big, yeah, yeah, in the big one. This is like the little sister of Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's more akin to the yes. um, hyperspace Force lights a hurry hero. up. Spelling Force Light's a hero, which is one of the main characters. And Leia, I believe, is this U ramp. Yeah. And that is all I really remember. And I think, who I think who. this shot's pretty cool, the one that goes up and around back to your flipper. Yeah, that's like, pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. I thought like Luke or Han was one of these, yes. and Luke or Han is one of these as well. Where's the 20x multiplier, though? That's the real question. <laughs> the 20x multiplier. I wonder when the ball will fall into All right, the... so this will start multi-ball if he can hit the right ramp. Uh, he needs to settle down, get control. Nice. Backhands it for the... Oh, mm. oh but so he got the R2-D2 yeah, lock. Yeah, so okay. the ball falls in here for the R2-D2 lock, so he can... And the second one falls in there, too, so he can start a three-ball multi-ball there if he wants to. So can you stack that with TIE Fighter? I think you maybe so you can. So TIE Fighter There's going TIE Fighter. right now. So you, you might be able to do that. Although, do you really want to? Isn't it nice that if you get out of this multi-ball that the other multi-ball is still there? Yeah, I don't think you want to set that ball free because you'll just have to relock it afterwards. But it looks yeah. like he did accidentally knock yeah, it out. Yeah, it's like right in the middle of the play field. Yeah. 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 I got 100,000 jackpots, though. That TIE Fighter is no joke. Look at that, yeah. 100,000. Wow, is that for the right ramp? I don't know, but that super 400, oh, it's probably because he has four balls in play, maybe? And he's yeah, got double yeah. X scoring going. Yeah. Uh, a double X, double scoring. All right, so the right ramp was worth 400,000 for a super. super. Wow, look at him. He's just, just destroying this thing. He's on two It's weird. It looks, like, it looks like nothing's lit right now, so I'm a little confused. Oh, but he just there hit you something. Go. Some uh, he, he no, hit those are the TIE These are fighters. also TIE Fighters. Oh. They're targets, oh, targets okay. in front of the ramp. They're TIE Fighters. There we go. Yes, yeah, so he had no idea. Oh, and apparently the target behind R2-D2, I think that's the target that's somewhere over there. That, that's an edible. That would be nice. Wow, this is going to take a night, uh, like a lot of work from Colin. Um, he just added a ball somehow. Not sure how. Actually, what's weird is he just got a ball save. Oh, so now he's got four balls again. This oh. is great. Escher has 4.6 million. When I played this game, I had 5 million, and I needed four balls to get it. It's four always balls. nice to see. I had an extra ball. Oh, it okay. was the practice game over ah, there. Gotcha. 
Oh, he kind of right, so doesn't like even the... need one ball. He just needs one multi-ball. No, <laughs> yes. it looks like the right ramp is lit again for a nice jackpot. Boom. There we go. How much is he getting? 400,000 again. And those TIE Fighters will probably be worth, oh. the, right here, will be worth something for each one, 110,000. Oh, that was a little bit of a fumble, but can't blame him too hard so, for it. Look at all those lights in the middle there. He's got like nine out of 10 white circles. All right. oh, I can't really see what those are. Are these his bonus probably? Maybe, yeah. So maybe don't tilt, you might have a nice bonus. I know uh, I've seen, like I saw Jermaine playing and he got like a 400,000 bonus and he was like, oh, glad it didn't tilt. Oh, wow, you can get back to TIE Fighter Multiball pretty quickly actually. Yeah, yeah he needs two more TIE. Does he need two more TIE Fighters or two more, two more TIE hurry Fighter hurry-ups? Yeah, two, two more, more TIE hurry Fighter hurry-ups. Yeah. Okay. Death Star Multiball's ready now. Look at so that. So with Death Star Multiball, you hit, shoot up into that ramp, correct? Oh, but it looks like he's going to start his double scoring first. Look there at that. There we go, double scoring. That was very skillful, um, planning that ahead of time. So now he can really crush his Death Star. He's going to probably go for a backhand. Oh, he's just... Oh, he's going... Triple scoring? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. it is. I Maybe he just, that's the bailout shot. I think that's just... That might be the bailout yeah. shot. Yeah, like yeah now he's he, trying to get it back to the right flipper. Maybe not. Oh, he's going for the TIE Fighter hurry up now? Oh, he keeps missing that. There it is. All right. 100,000. So one more. Maybe that's... So maybe that, maybe he's trying to get that, that multi-ball going? Wow, look at him looping back, forth, sideways, <laughs> up and down. Yeah, that's the layout <laughs> loop that you were talking about. Yeah, the thing yeah. around the TIE Fighter rim. Yes. So, so double scoring for 30 seconds, so he's restarted that. I think he's going to try and get more hurry-ups going this or something? right loop all day, apparently. I mean, that might be the strat. Maybe he doesn't know the Death Star multiball is ready? Because I feel like he would have started it by now. Oh, he knows. That's, so? that's what Adam says. Right. Also, okay. I think they're hearing us in the room. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Adam says he's saving the Death Star multiball. Oh, okay. Because uh, he doesn't want Colin to know oh. like how much he's going to get out of it. Oh, okay. Kind of like right. a, a right. keep this in their back pocket sort of Death thing. This is a great All start right. for Escher. 6.7 million. Very impressive. That is... Good score. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wants more heroes to make his yeah. Death Star worth more. That might be it. All right, so Colin's gonna go back to the right orbit to get bumpers, which give you TIE Fighters, which give you TIE Fighter hurry-ups, which give you TIE Fighter multi-ball. And also the orbits is sort of the safest shot, um, as opposed to shooting the Death Star targets right away. I can, I, can, I can probably see going for TIE Fighter uh, hurry-up, and then kind of when you're missing shots, Hopefully, getting those Death Star yeah. targets down, not really going for them. Yep. Ooh, nice little save there. All right, so probably backhand to the TIE Fighter. That's trouble. Oh, that was a little Ooh, too that. big of a move. You can see, the pin's a little little smaller Ooh. than you're used to, so your your little moves go a long way. Yeah. But Somebody's asking for an update on Keith versus Alec. Um, oh, nice save. That was a good no danger yeah. save. I'm not sure what, what's happening there with the other game. This is uh, killing me. He only has 3,000 points for the hurry up. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. And that's gone. That's oh. very gone. And tilt. And the bonus that's, is gone. That's it's painful. all gone. Uh, Keith is playing. Uh, I can't see around the, the reflector here. Who's, so. who's Keith playing against? What, on what game? Black Knight. All right. So they're still going on Black Knight. Oh, wow. 533 to 666 million there. Are they done? Still going. All right. So Adam's saying uh, that Fisher is going to short plunge, catch the ball, and then start Death Star multi ball. 
Uh, somebody's asking which Star Wars this is. So recently Stern brought a home version of Star Wars game. It's basically just a it's a smaller pinball. It's a little bit different. There's you can't a put bit, coins into it. You, yeah, you cannot put coins in it. I also think they kind of like dressed it down. Yeah, it's also not meant for like a location, like heavy location play. So yeah. it's a little more boutique, a little more, uh, you know, not, yeah. not as industrial strength probably. Um, but yeah. it's also cheaper so more people can afford uh, yes. to buy one. And it's, it's oh, somebody says it's also not meant for tournaments. I don't know about yeah, that. Possibly, but this we'll look find out. Yeah, I'm yeah. intrigued at the very least. Uh, yeah. It's caught my attention. It's a fun way to get to know the game because I don't think I would have ever seen this game if it wasn't no. here in the tournament. No, it's. I mean, it's got a lot of similarities to the main Star Wars so, game that we're used to, but not quite the same. Yeah. Looks like he's, <laughs> he's down to one ball. Somebody's uh, calling it the IKEA version. <laughs> so he does have his uh, Death Star. There it is, double super, four, two million. All right. I was gonna say one, uh, million. one million. One million. I think million, the double scoring yeah. just expired. Mm. Um, the thing about Death Star Multiple is it doesn't matter how bad you do during it. Afterwards, there's a time shot for that super, which is where he got that one million from. All right. That's nice. You can settle, get down to one ball and settle down and yeah. then time your shot. That is unfortunate, though. His double scoring ran out literally as the ball was like yeah. crossing the finish line. When I was playing this game, I started Dead Star Multiball, and it shot out two balls, and they both landed into the R2D2 shot <laughs> thing, and it ended my Dead Star Multiball. Oh. Because, like... Kind of like in, in, in Fireball, when you relock <laughs> your balls, your multiball is gone. You, know? you can end your ball in Fireball too if you if you do it at the wrong time. You yeah. Can, like if both right. balls lock at the same time. Oh, your ball is over. Your ball's TIE over. Fighter yeah. multi ball now. Close to it. Yeah, he's back in. So he he last ball he redid a couple of Tie Fighter hurry ups, and now he was primed to have a Tie Fighter multi ball again. Like oh, somebody somebody says, I, I didn't notice it. Somebody says that the slingshots fire at the same time. They do, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. They did that on, on old uh, EM machines. Oh, did they? Like uh, the pop bumper rings were kind of like together. Oh, okay. I don't know why they would See, do it for this. I learn weird. something new in pinball every day. So he's kind of just taking victory laps here. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, this is crazy. I mean... His jackpots are more than calling the score right now. That is sad. It's only ball two. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow his right. TIE Fighter total was four billion, uh, four wow. million. So he locked his R2D2 now. So he's short plunging, I guess. And is he trying to, is he gonna start the R2D2? Yes, there All it is. All right, so you just knock it loose? Yes, All exactly. Right. That's what you do. So okay. yeah, you can also, like, there, there can be two balls in there. I think so there's you can make two. it a three ball. Oh, it's a three ball either way. If you knock yes. two, is it then a four ball multi-ball? I don't know if that's the case, but over there, there's, like, two little switches. Uh, so okay. it, can, it can sense how many balls are there, and you can knock them loose at the same time. All right. Can you knock them loose one at a time, or is it all at once? I think it's all at once, all unless right. one falls back in there. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. All right, he's down to two now, and the ball save is off. Looks like that right orbit is lit. That's the layout orbit, I think. Yeah. I'm just watching the uh, video screen. Looks like R2 just uh, hacked the door, and now he's going inside. All right. Oh, oh now is, he's... Is, is C-3PO well, he, okay he with it? He bought him enough time in the multi-ball for yeah. R2-D2 oh, to hack the door. Oh, now someone's flying the trenches here. Oh, now we're back on Tatooine, or right. whatever that <laughs> desert place is. I thought it was Tatooine, yeah. if I remember correctly. Oh, my movie ended. Oh. Okay. All right. Elwin and Alec tied 1-1, one, one, and they're playing Jurassic Park. That's a good last game. I'm excited for that. Not uh, sure I would so want to play up against the, the designer of a game in the finals. Hey, I managed to take a game <laughs> off Keith, and it was on Jurassic Park. Adam won that was on it. Jurassic Park <laughs> to Keith, so. Yeah. And that, again, mean, that means Keith is I think, due, probably. I think it's probably Alex's choice. Yeah. And if Alex it is his choice, then it's a game that he feels comfortable on. I know. And, and, and that's really what you what need matters, to go for. Yeah. 
could be like the curse of a you own a game. I think you Astro's don't do well in tournaments. Oh yeah, it. totally. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think Esher's a little too comfortable with this game though. <laughs> this is. Uh, Maybe we should turn the ball save off. Trent might just have to pull this game. It's just like <laughs> too long playing apparently. Okay, so he got his R two D two lock again. He is not doing. Uh, he's kind of doing a half short plunge. I don't know what you would call that. A semi short oh, plunge. No, R2D multi ball again. Yes. All right. Oh, I get to watch my movie again. Okay, so R2 is back <laughs> to. You tell us what R2D2 is doing. All right. Oh, he's fixing C3 Prio right now. Oh, it looks like the multi ball is over. He never got to finish. Yeah. Oh, but sorry. he was just about to open up. You'll oh. always wonder no. what R2D2 was going to do. He's still in multi ball. Oh, no, you're right. He's still in it. All right, you can oh, time. Oh, he's, he's, uh, what's going on? <laughs> Raymond, I want you to make R2D2 noises now, please. <laughs> <laughs> So this multi-ball is definitely worth less than the other ones are. His jackpots are 40,000, where the TIE Fighter one... I mean, it's also kind of a luck multi-ball. It like, falls in there or it doesn't. Yeah. This is uh, a lot of movie oh, clips. Oh, that was a... He flipped himself out, unfortunately. But so, great ball. That was great. Million that million was bonus. ball two. Fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Ball two, 16 million. Colin has a I feel lot like of that, work to do. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right. Colin is up. This is kind of the point where Colin's just like super relaxed now. He's just like, oh, whatever. I guess I'm just going to play this game because mm -hmm. like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no point stressing out because yeah. like your odds are so low to begin with. You're just like, all right, I'm just going to play and... I like the way he's playing. He's playing right now. Like you can see, uh, he's letting the ball bounce and just yeah, not flipping like crazy. Getting a little nervous with how much he's moving the machine, considering he tilted it could last also ball. Be that but it, it could also be that the camera is making it, it like they're moving be, more. Yeah. So, so he's got his tie fighter. Hurry up. Uh, it's counting down. Good job, Pinball Nerds Podcast. Oh boy. He really wants to hit that TIE Fighter, and that's trouble. Oh, Ooh. nice save. Nice save. Oh, double danger, maybe. Yeah, I'm concerned. There it is. Yeah. All right, TIE Fighter, hurry up. So he needs one more of those to get a TIE Fighter multi-ball. Does this game have an action button? No, no. it doesn't. Okay. The action button is the start button. I actually yes. heard that somebody wanted to hit the action button and then <laughs> started a player three. Oh. oh. They were like... The ball drained, wanted to hit it, and it got a third, a oh, third player. Oh, that's it. <laughs> because it's the start button is right at the spot where the action button All would right. be. All right. Colin had an unfortunate bounce off the right side into the left orbit, it looks like. That's it that's for Colin Urban. Uh, he will no, take, no, that uh, was ball two. Was that was ball two? Yeah. yeah. yeah Colin's got three. one more ball to try and yeah. beat this monster score. Okay. Yeah. What was the top score in qualifying on this it was game? 10 like million 12 or so? Million, yeah. 12 million or so? All right. Wow. So he already beat that on yeah. with two balls, one more ball to go. All right. 17 hits to light and hurry up. 17 hits on what to light and hurry up? The bumpers. All right. And that's all and I he's think. He's got double scoring again. And does he have anything lit? Whoa. I wish our comps had cash prizes. Well, you can change that. You well, can charge an entry fee. And but if he's from Europe, uh, some countries in Europe don't allow oh. cash prizes. Uh, well, you don't, you don't tell okay. anyone. Yeah, but then there's somebody else that will tell. And well, don't invite those people. <laughs> don't invite those people. <laughs> but I do wonder where they're giving beer for prizes. It kind of sounds like Belgium. I don't know. I've, I've, I've won beer in Belgium. That doesn't seem so. like a horrible thing, as long as it's good beer. <laughs> but... So, Dr. Curly Tech, did you win beer in Belgium or was it in another country where you won your beer? <laughs> so, what are you doing now? I thought beer for prizes was a, um, uh, what's that country called? New Zealand thing. Oh, that could be too. I don't know. I seem to recall hearing that was a popular. Oh, Australia. Aww. See, it's, 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 it's the same in Europe. And there's sense. a lot of country, like in the Netherlands, like you may win at a main tournament, you may, the main prize for a tournament like this would be 400 euros. Mm. Okay. And it has to be a fixed prize and, and because otherwise they might consider it gambling. Mm. Uh. Only one time we played in a pinball tournament that was organized by a casino and they were allowed to give way higher cash prices. Right. And Weird. the cash price was 5,000. 
nice. That was very nice, yes. So what is he working on right now? I think he's just flipping just, around, just, having just, fun. Just, just working on, yeah. driving, you know, chipping away at He's getting points. it up there, get that double uh, scoring going. Bonus score, double scoring and now. I think, yeah, and he's TIE Fighter multi-ball hurry I up. think that's what he's just doing, trying tie to get fighter, back into TIE Fighter. Yeah. So he needs two more of those for another multi-ball. Oh, that. Oh, man. It's a very impressive score, though, so. That's, uh, yeah, he, he won't be too sad about that, um, unless in unless it loses, then he, then he will be well, quite yeah. sad. Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. Huh. So Colin really has some work to do. So if you pay an entry fee, but you don't get prizes, a lot of Where places, the entry fee? a lot of the money goes to the price of the beer, the trophies, oh, okay. maybe location. All right. Uh, tournaments that I play in, uh, kind of like SPL, where like also a lot of the prize money goes to the food that the host pays for. Oh, so it's just for. like a, like a p pinball party. Kind of, right, so yeah. So Colin has started his TIE Fighter multi-ball. You got to get some side pot action. No, yeah. Nobody took any side pot action so at the Power 100. And what do you get for completing nobody the did? bottom lanes here? Do you know? Uh, actually, I don't. I, I don't know either. Hmm. He's completed them. I have no idea what those do. Yeah. Like, I, I can't even take a guess. All right. I w normally, they give you bonus X, but I yeah, doubt... Yeah, I think the bonus X is in the top lane here. It might be the same in the bottom. But the top but lane is the... All right, this is a match... Oh, sorry, I need to see that again, Fred. I believe no, this the, is... The, the winner of this match is guaranteed second place. All right. So this is the end of the winner's bracket. All right. Going to play either Keith Elwin or Alex Cashmark, I guess? I think uh, Keith has to play Jared now. Uh, yes, I'm correct. Okay. No, you're right. I'm yeah, Keith has to play Jared now. behind on and the bracket. Yeah. Jared will have to, or the, or the winner of that match will have to play the loser of them, right? Oh, goodness, yes. And then... Oh, uh, there it is. No. So, yeah, this is actually... So, Colin's not eliminated from the tournament. No. Wow. Uh, All right. Yeah. That uh, is... Keith, that Keith, and, Keith and Alec are playing Jurassic Park right now. Yeah, so they're That's still going. Heard. No, they're still going on Jurassic Park, last we heard. Yeah, I wonder if we can get a camera on Jurassic Park in between balls. That would be... Right. Yeah, new grand champion on Star Wars, the pin. Oh, look at Escher. Look at... Oh. He's scoring points here. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Somebody wants to see a monkey python in the... Okay. All right, we're going to take a break here. Going over okay. to Emoto with, uh, All right. on the floor here.